Hello everybody, Jacqueline213 here, and welcome back to episode 2 of Happyville and Settlement Survival. Now before we start, I'm not sure if you've noticed already, but I've actually got myself a new mic. Um, it was supposed to arrive next week, but it managed to um, get delivered early um, and just before New Year's. So today is like 31st of December. So really stoked that it came in just before uh, today's um, video. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So um, quick recap from where we left off uh, in, in the last episode. Um, we're currently heading into our second winter of the game. So when the game first started and we just had our market and pretty much nothing else, um, that was technically the first winter. So we're heading straight into the second winter, which also means that, uh, let's see if I can move this along, that the, um, my field's actually going to be useless. So, um, cause you, you um, sorry, because you can't plant the crops in winter. Ooh, new livestock acquired. That is great. So, if I look at our collection, I managed to find alpaca, which is going to be good because we can use that for alpaca wool in the clothing store or clothes shop right here. So actually good timing. Let's swap that to alpaca wool. Oh, mysterious merchant. And 200 ointment only for 3000 silver coins. Get this deal because it's before it's too late. Unfortunately, I don't have any silver coins. I've only got 400. So I'm going to have to let you go. That's uh, really unfortunate. But um, we'll, we'll get more of those happening. Um, they, they, they pop in every now and then so that isn't too big of a deal what is very um or what i do need to start doing asap is gather more resources um and let's see how i'm going to plan out the winter i've got 2000 food resources so food's going to be fine beverages we're making it through i'm a bit worried about fuel because we've only got 80 um actually let me just pause quickly. So I, I need to think this out. Uh, I do want to get rid of the task goal and build two standard fields. That isn't sort of the priority now though. Oh, so I do have the chopping house, which is currently making the domestic fuel. So that's going to happen. So that's okay. Uh, I don't have any more trees here. So that we definitely need to cut these trees. I've got three laborers. That's going to help me cut the trees. So that's going to be... Uh, that's going to keep the lumber um, the the lumber intake going. So that's definitely going to be uh, a plus. Um, okay, so what's next? We have, so these are our houses. We've got the clinic. We've got a builder's cabin. Um, we've got the hunter's hut. We've got clothes store. We've got smithy. Uh, and we've got repair store. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick look. So moments before we got the alpaca, so we could build the pasture. Um, so that's definitely something I want to do, but I might leave that till when we're closer to spring. Um, well, actually, I don't think it matters. Yeah, because I think you can raise livestock in winter. Uh, I don't actually remember. Hmm. All right. So, uh, next up. So we've got gatherer's hut in the middle of our woods, right over here. So that's a okay. Hunter's hut is there. Forester is up there. And this is for honey and beeswax, but we don't actually need that right at this moment. So I'm going to skip that for now. We've got our clothes. We've got the chopping house up here. Sawmill is being built. No, sorry, not being built. Oh no, I don't have a normal sawmill. So that's fine because we've got the water sawmill, which has uh, powered by water, 
has the same function as the sawmill but with greater efficiency. So I don't I don't actually want a sawmill, so that's cool. Smithy is for the iron tools, um, which get used uh, by the laborers um, and for uh, certain upgrades to, 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 to fields um, here, but um, that's okay uh, we've, since we've got the smithy already. The distillery. So we that is to make alcohol. And alcohol actually keeps... Um, citizens happiness quite high and that is one of our main goals in happyville is to have happy citizens i don't like the look of that face at the moment that's not a happy face so we need to turn that frown upside down so we'll, we'll get a distillery soon um so we'll come back to that one we've got warehouse for storage and it's only one percent full so don't have to worry about that Ferry we'll get to later on. Um, we'll need that later to for the trading ships. So one is coming merchant ship. Um, you can use the merchant ship to buy um, or, or trade, sorry, as well as the ferry will allow me to to make um, orders, I believe. Um, so we do want to build that soon, and I'll probably place it somewhere like. Um, here, like actually right next to the sawmill, so or alongside here, like we've got a lot of flexibility later on. Okay, so services, uh, cemetery we do need later on, uh, because if there's no grave for the dead, family will grieve, lose happiness. Church is probably, hmm. So we do want to build the church kind of close to the town area so at least it can cover sort of all the houses we all the housing we plan on building here so oh, i'm thinking how we want to do this because i've kind of already made this not such a brilliant build like what am i going to do with this i mean maybe i'll leave that for decorations and then sort of dirt road through yeah maybe that's what i'll do I'll, I'll leave that space for some decorations later on um a church won't fit in here but we've got other stuff that can fit there let's see do i want to just build a church here hmm That is a good call. So maybe not. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Um, so I've got the fields here to get the boost. I'm probably going to stick like to the two standard fields. Like let's see the size of the standard field. Standard field is like an eight by eight. I'll probably place one like to be honest it doesn't really matter where i place these two standard fields i'm probably going to get rid of them later on or i might use them for something else anyways so i might just stick one like here and like another somewhere i don't know um so in that case i'm actually just going to stick the church right here Ugh, it won't fit or let's see yeah maybe if I get rid of some of that road there, which I might, you know what? That's fine. Let's stick the church uh, right. Oh, actually, that fits quite nice right behind these houses. So, and the coverage area is pretty much my whole town center. Um, and, and, and that's probably what I want. Um, so, yeah, let's let's stick the church here cool um and town hall is what we'll need later on um for our immigrants um so we can actually accept immigrants into the city um let's see i don't actually need the town hall oh, wow it's funny so the town hall technically doesn't need to be in the city center but if it it, it doesn't really make sense if it's not really in 
in, in the town, right? Like the town hall is supposed to be the center of the town. And if I put it on the outskirts of the city, that doesn't really, uh, yeah, it, it would be quite funny. But, um, so I guess the town hall is sort of like in terms of width, it's the size of the church. So, uh, it, it is going to make things slightly more complicated. Um, I'm just thinking where I'm going to place it. I probably will just do this here and then I can fill up. Wait, actually, let me do this. I'm going to put some space in between. And then I can use these as additional storage spaces, right? So line that up. You know what? Let me, let me plan this out first. So I'll build the storage spaces first, uh, storage yards. So I'm going to do one five by, f uh, five by six and then a nine, 10 by two. So. That's going to be quite big. And then we can happily pop the town hall right next to our, um, sort of our, our seaside, you know, I like, although immigrants don't actually travel in by sea, they just magically appear in your town. Um, so let me just unpause that, let that roll. But, um, yeah. So like, although they don't travel by sea, we're trying to make this as realistic as possible. Right. So, um, yep. So, okay, uh, what's next? So let's see, we've got pop 10, zero, six. Um, oh yeah, so we forgot about the school. This is probably something that we want eventually because this actually, um, that size, yeah. So yeah, let's put pop it here. Um, we'll give a bit of space so we can throw a road in there. But yeah, so once the kids uh, start growing up, when you have a school, they have the option of either going to school or becoming adults. And the benefits of going to school, let's see, children between eight to nine will go to school for education. They'll graduate after finishing their classes. Uh, students who live far away from school may graduate late. So... It's good. We've got them close by to our houses. Um, so workers who have graduated from school are more efficient. So that is definitely something we want. Uh, it's coming to February. So it's going to swing by March very soon. So I'm actually going to turn my farms on, get the people in here um, so they can start planting as soon as that goes off. And since we're back in March, let me start getting these fields sorted as well. I'm going to let's see i'm going to stick one here just off the road so we sort of can have the road continue you know what? i'm just going to stick both there that actually works and um yep, get the coins cool choose one that close one standard field okay close done build a big well we did that forest's hut we did that gatherer's hut we did that hunter's hut Nice, look at the money rolling in. Fantastic. Build seven houses in total. We've got nine. Build a repair shop. Awesome. Build a church. That's happening now. I don't actually need all these fields, so I'm going to demolish one. Cool. And I'm going to keep this one as a backup in case I do need to plant something else. Um, what's this? We've got an issue here. We've run out of alpaca wool. Um, let's see. So... There's not a lot we can work with. I do sort of want to build another um, gatherer's hut later on because they are going to be our primary source of leather wool. Well, actually, I completely forgot. We had some alpacas, didn't we? So I'm going to create a pasture. And that is really sad. So it's telling me that this area, whole area, gives a nice boost but ha like a quarter of the area is taken out by the river which is really annoying um do we have any other areas which can give the pasture boost yeah all the way here not ideal um so you know what uh why uh, in, in the future eventually 
uh, when your tech gets high level enough, you have like a terraforming tool. So probably can like chunk out a bit of the river here uh, and then utilize this um, boost. But for now, I'm actually just going to stick the pasture. Let's see. I'm going to stick the pasture right here. Make it the same size. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Then I can build my road sort of. Yeah, I definitely didn't plan this right. Oh, hold on. Stop, folks. Okay, I'm going to cut that because I've just realized the reason why I planted the farm in such a weird location was because of this boost. So what I do want to do is I want to carry on this area. So it looks nice. Add the roads in. So let's unpause again. And I'm going to put the pasture actually the same size as my field. Or somewhat close to same size. Um, so yeah, that, that looks really nice. Um, we'll carry this road here. And then expand it across like this. Beautiful. And we've got a bit of an extra space here, but that that's okay. We can deal with that later on. Um, we don't have enough timber. Oh no, that is bad, 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 bad. So not having enough timber means we can't build. We don't have enough for firewood and church is open. We don't have any laborers. We need the kids to grow up. All right, so we're in a bit of a tough spot at the moment. So I do need to gather all... You know what? I'll leave that area as is. Let's clear out uh, some more of the stuff here. So I want to gather everything here. Not across the ocean because we can't get across. We need to build bridges later. Now, what was this? Oh, there was this, this was the school. So let's pause the school. We'll get back to that later. Um, someone still... Oh, there might be the builders that are gathering stuff at the moment. Well, at least lumber, because they do need to build this out. Um, I've made 200 planks, and that's limit, production limit. So that's what the that icon is. But that also does mean that I can start building these fishing docks. Which I do want to do. Oh, and we've uh, happily got the church, we've got the clinic. And this is the final goal, which is the distillery. Uh, and that's for the alcohol. So while we're waiting for things to get built out, let's sort of map this out. Actually, that that works quite nice. Um, hold on. So we've got a shortage of leather again. Swap over to alpaca wool. So unfortunately, sort of in the, the early game, you, you tend to have to do this quite often. Um... Or if someone actually, someone else actually knows what's a what's a better way of ensuring you have a solid supply of of um, materials, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I mean, if it's if it's to to actually build out a pasture and farm, um, that's good because we're actually um, coming around to doing that once we uh, fix this uh, lumber shortage. <laughs> That's actually going to be a problem for quite some time. Um, <laughs> Alright, so yes, we were going to map out the distillery. I sort of want to move it sort of uh, kind of to the outskirts of the city because um, I sort of want to leave most of the space here for um, housing because you can only technically build housing within the marketplace area. So if I put too much other buildings, it is going to make it hard for me later on. Or I just have to build another marketplace. So I guess that's not too big of an issue. So you know what? Let's keep the distillery close by. Um, and I'll pop it right here. So this luxury house, or well, maybe not too luxury. Do I want to build a road here? Probably not. I could Leave that for some nice decorations. Let's see. Uh, oh, these cost quite a bit. So I'll leave that as is. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so mushrooms. 
How did I get mushrooms? Okay, that's definitely new to me. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss out on that merchant ship because even if we did have it built in time, I don't actually have enough. Um, let's pause these because I don't have enough timber. I keep calling it lumber. I don't know. Timber, lumber, wood, whatever. Um, so at least let's get one fishing dock sorted. We would definitely need that. We've got immigrants coming and thankfully we've got the town hall built. So once the immigrants swing by, we definitely, wait, hold on. So let's remove those. We get three laborers. That's perfect. And now let's have them gather a bunch of lumber because we need the lumber. And you know what? Since we're at it, let's, let's, let's have a look and see. Can I select one of these laborers? Let's see. Citizen perspective. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's try that again. Oh, wait, hold on. UFO. An unidentified flying object suddenly show up in your town, hovering over your place and sending out mysterious waves. It seems like... It seems like saying hello. It seems like saying hello to you. It seemed like saying hello to you. Okay. Will you respond or pretend not seeing it? Oh, I don't know if I want to say hello. Like, is it, what is it going to do? Like, is it going to suck my people away or like, whoa. Uh, yes, no, yes. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, they friendly greet you and teach you their planting te technology. As they flew away, the yield from the farm seems to have increased. Awesome. Um, but uh, I hope, I don't know, like I hope that sort of applies to the next year because it's in the middle of winter and I literally don't have any farm. Um, but yes, back to uh, having a look at one of our citizens. So, whoop, and I'm going to just drop the speed because this is a tad bit fast. And let's hide this. Oh, yep, yeah, I keep forgetting. Oh. So warmth. Oh yes, this this who's this? Lawrence, my my woodcutter. He is currently cold. Um so I think he will return to his house, right? Cause that's yeah, cool. So as soon as they pop in their house, that wow, their warmth just bumps to max. Okay, that's that's quite funny. But um Nice meeting you, Lawrence, and thanks for helping us cut wood. Oh, oh, there, 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 right there, that wood chopping action. I can't actually rotate, because as soon as I do, it, uh, yeah, it just takes me out of the citizen view. And he's cold again. Ugh, whatever. Uh, whoops, uh, let me just fix up that orientation, because I do have trouble. Uh, okay, I'm going to pop someone into the church. Um, radio. So, we nearly have our pastures, and then we can raise our alpacas. Woohoo! Fuel reserves are low. I've got some more tech points. So, actually, let's have a look and see how we want to spend this tech point. Um, I do sort of want herb knowledge or forest farm. Yes, we have lumber issues. This is definitely what we need. We'll go herb knowledge later. So, fantastic. So, leveling up that tech, intro not introduce, sorry, uh, unlocks the forest farm. And forest farms are pretty much like standard farms, um, but you um, plant trees inside. So, it's it's like you pop the farm up, and you know what, let me just create the farm. It, it's like, it'll be slightly more obvious once it's done. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me scope this out, because I want to build some of the roads to first to make sure that yeah okay so that is not going to work so the size of my forest farm is going to be restricted to this cool so yeah yeah you you put the forest farm down and once that's done i don't have clay ah uh, 
I didn't think about that. Can be collected from the sand pit. Uh, unlocks the sand pit. Okay, so I can't even get clay. Great. So that's going to have to go on pause. But um, essentially, yeah, once it's done, you can put um, laborers into the farm. And they will plant the trees similar to how they plant crops. And they will also automatically harvest it. Um, so, cool. Oh! Goose. Oh, I unlocked more livestock. Awesome. So, let's have a look at this. Uh, goose can be planted, uh, slaughtered for feather and goose. Uh, feathers and goose. So, feathers can be used for trade. Uh, and goose hair is, is for food. But I'm actually going to go with alpaca. Just because it produces alpaca meat and alpaca wool. Now, this is definitely something we really, really, really need. Um, and purely because we keep running into these shortages. Uh, we've literally got no resources. Great. So before the pasture, we could only have gotten alpaca wool and leather from our gatherers. Um, sorry, not gatherers, our hunters. But now with um, the pasture unlocked, we can actually um, have them... Uh, have alpacas and get a relatively good source of of wool hopefully from from the farm so i've actually never had alpacas before so this is going to be quite interesting to see how this works and nice so one fishing what is this called one fishing dock has been built we've got uh fishies going on there so um yeah i think this is um things are looking quite good for us Food is pretty solid. Uh, lumber is going to come along soon. Uh, we're out of fuel. That's going to be a problem. But um, I think this is pretty solid for our third or fourth winter. Um, so I'm actually going to end this episode here. Because, um, yeah, we got our packers. Uh, and happiness went up. So goal achieved. So, good job. Another day at Happyville. Um, so, thanks everyone for watching. Please uh, drop a like if you haven't already and you're enjoying the content. Um, subscribe so you don't miss out uh, future videos in this series. Um, and see everyone next time.